Okay, it's time for Big Week MLP Classic Vlog. How's the phone popping? Can I just for it last week? Um, we have Family Appreciation Day, written by Hindi Morrow. So, the premise basically is you know, that it's Family Appreciation Day at school, and Apple and Apple and Applejack and Big Mac cannot come because we're busy doing the Gap Apple Harvest thing. So, we only have Lesson Grand Smith, who is quite cookie lady, and, and Apple Boom does not want her to come because she might embarrass her and try to stop her from coming. And that's roughly the premise. So, I can film very quickly because I get a lot, okay? This episode is definitely one more forgot one, like, not a lot, but maybe people come up remember it because it has them born out like in Gap Up Woods and Tear, which are Magic Gavel and Kind of Flea, which aren't mentioned a lot after, but they do show up a few times. Um, but to move for mention, and we see them. We're not going to deal if they are later, but we see them for time. Um, here and we find out about finding a bunny will go. You think I thought that would be crazy remember, but most people just like, oh yeah, that episode. Like, and people I look out care to be underrated and underrated gem and yada yada yada. So, but even though people may it's not like one of the top like 20 episodes or anything of that nature. And with the Tagak code, I get why they have forgotten, even though I don't think like anything really wrong with it. I have a complaint, but it's not like. Fiat, but the right or fault, you know. You know, um, you know, uh, if I have a point, we're on the premise of Gaku, the, the incredible cliche, you know, they're trying to bear us, like, I've seen a kind of like premise where, like, I mean, come show up where you have to show up for like career day or family day or whatever, and you know, you know, I'm trying to, you know, again, and just. It's being embarrassed by going wild out because they go, they won't go kooky, you know, but quite a bit of it. And, and again, it's going to make it up with it, but it's, well, you know, what's going to happen, you know, eventually she's going to be like, okay, but we're you know, bet you and yada, yada, yada. Now, it pulled off well, but it's not like we do anything queenly amazing with it, you know? Now, putting extra twist. But what the ponyville thing is what they end up doing with it, which is good, but they're not going to take the same and get run from a lot more, um, I think, you know, and, and, well, you know, so Kakura can have a, a big, like, element that, that story, yeah, but for that, nothing like crazy, crazy. It's commuting, definitely, but nothing like, no, we, um, we must have really crazy, sweet, or moments, my moments aren't really funny. That's not even Apple Phone, it's meant to be a low key one, you know, it's meant to be a nice, you know, but Apple Comic is not the most memorable, it's a little forgettable, like, and, it, and it's not even flawed. I would call, I would call it some good Apple Phone because I think it's mostly a thing, but in the scheme of the show, yeah, it's playing a skill guy, but, um, but, again, but to be fair, click on the show, I have so many Apple Phone, but so much just gonna get forgotten, you know, even if they're good or nothing wrong with them, or very even interesting or solid, you know. And even after Team 2, even after before Team 3, I think at this point I probably only remember a little bit of And before I watched this guy, again, I only, like, we're coming up with Coke, I've only seen, like, do I freak out because he's twice by now. And come up with Coke, I still like him quite a bit, but this one I just sort of, like, remember picking and picking out. She's like, oh yeah. But I remember more of a general thing, but it was moment, which, you know. Actually, again, it definitely had, like, it being my favorite part of when they do a weekend briefing on Granny. I don't know why that just made me laugh. And uh, I do like the beginning with the reward that come in. It gave a kick up being moment in general. And it seemed a little, you know, played up, but she had a weekend for it in the end. So I kind of cried. But, you know, go. So that definitely had, like, a moment again. It took a spot again for a little bit. You understand why I have pretty fine kind of. And yeah, she's not too long, like, well, because, yeah. Um, yeah, in the end, she ended up being like, oh yeah, I should buy, you know, let it play out, and, you know, and she, she liked winning fifth at the beginning, and it's not until Diamond Chiara comes in to be a bitch, um, and basically you go, well, I'm going to bear, before that, she liked being great, but it's more like going out of fall, yeah, when Chiara grabbed again, well, cool thing, Diamond Chiara actually punished in the couple code, um, which, should I talk about now? Let's talk about Filthy Rich, okay, first of all, um, Make up go not only to find out if our name was Filthy Rich, um, Filthy Rich. Apparently, he had a great grandfather named Thinking Rich, 
who would mention in the comic, which actually I couldn't see anything to come back to because of the comic code, which when I did my post on I thought that was the time to get through in that comic. Check out, it was here. And then later, they aren't going to have Boyle Ridge. What would this be named? But anyway, we're getting out of this comic code event. Look at the code, get the record straight, that we put a team effort with, you know, between. You know, think of it, uh, really kind of, kind of getting plenty more. Yeah, in the con, everyone will call like, wait, what, 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 what video, who did what, even though here they get that record straight now. Now that con got weaker, now I've read, watched it again, great. Maybe I can give in to the eight foot a little more, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, that, but anyway, that's not what I'm going to talk about them, now. I'm going to talk about them in comparison to Fisher Bicket. Big of LPO, something I mentioned at the end of the um, because, you know, I barely remember, Cog was the only episode of Free Richard, like, he had a major speaking role in, you can correct me on that, I'd surely appear, I probably didn't appear in Cog's part, kind of thing, but only time he had a major speaking appearance, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, he, like, he appeared in Cog, it come a Romeo, like, the Cog, for example, <laughs> pretty good, we got Cog, Cog, but paper wouldn't get Mayor, get Mayor, Mayor, gee, I wonder why we're doing that. By the way, if he Trump, then that could a big in cold too, if you're rich. Okay, I'm getting, I'm, I'm not even talking about the upgrade anymore. Um, you know, Fisher, you know how new character got like, actually nice outfit farmer, but then it got kind of evil, but off of Fortnite, you know, it's a big thing, I've talked about it before. I wonder how down to the honor, because he all get in one episode. Well, he only had a speaking, plot relevant role, where he speak in one episode. Because I watched him again, and... He's like too, like for his appearance, he actually is like, but I mean, yeah, he rambled a little on the call, but he, he, when he introduced himself, he goes, ah, oh, maybe, but he can go pretty deep in the eye, because he's like, you know, being kind of, you know, red. And in the end, he's willing to punish our terrorists wrong. He got you slightly more instant of it. Because again, he had appeared off on the show that contradicted, and I'm guessing if that Adriana got the bitchy fuck, go basically ever to roll from him, you know, like, yeah, well. Yeah, well, if more can get it, we'll get up here, but they still both have, like, blank me, I guess, possibly. That kind of crazy. He, he's been a lot more dignity and come out of appearance, especially in, you know, the time he's been in there. But, you know, I kind of read Black Two Friends forever, but should be getting that, but that, not. But, yeah, I like community, again. He actually goes, you know, my god, I don't, and of course we ever find out how to try to do it soon. With the biggest though, I, I believe it because Fisher keeps flip-flopping between educating for them and, you know, wanting, you know, evil stuff, and the fact that their mom apparently gone for freaking, <laughs> um, but, yeah, but, anyway, back on track of the episode, Lincoln and I become a plot that can be a whole lot of time, either, you buy into it, and you buy why I'm doing what she's doing, and work find the ending kind of catfying, or you just don't buy into it, and it's just kind of cliche. For me, I buy into it enough, because you kept me fully entertained with a lot of games from the antics, and the story is pretty interesting, how she, it's been contradicted a lot, uh, about how funny you found it, you know, again, I can't contradict it, um, you know, but for the time, it was really cool to find out that what part of Ponyville, and it's a fun little backstory too. Again, like I, like I know it's one little bit where she mentioned that the mention about her pa like talking to Fletcher or that was quite hilarious. Like, and then you can keep looking at your wife going, you know, being playing. You know, that, that's like a quick little thing, but I like that. Good attention to detail. They don't go attention to it. It's like a small joke, but I know it. Go, so, that's a very funny touch. Um, that got the ending it quite. We and they also kind of find out her being punished, which. I was talking about it happened. By the whole actual 40 figure, I'm not talking about like following the mother where it ended with Apple or whatever. You know? Go that was nice. And or before you come to the you get things taken away from her. Again, that's what favorite punish of her. Very, very satisfying. Um and it's sick, it's not too many fear to make him. But I do think a little much, but oh well. Be on you, if you're rich. You are more content character if you're a <laughs> And that's why I watched the Gap Code again. And that's why when it, when I want to do Clive Vlog, this is one I want to do just to watch that again, just to finally compare the two characters. Go, so it popped up, I went, whoa. Go, there you go. So overall, the Gap Code is going to get a little bit. I still got good because the Prime of Wild pretty same, but the Dungle and Gap 2 pretty sweet moments where Tackle very 
very small, and a complete meeting moment, 25th solid, uh, for the rich school, back, quick, back, glory, funny little, glory, go, entertaining, and package, which is not a fat too, cause it's not, like, all the good stuff, dog, stuff again, especially, me, and the funny stuff, again, especially making it funny, but, for the most part, I think it was on the episode, and we, and it only compared to other episodes, I bet, single, single one, I'll probably like it more, but can't get it to it, like, if you want to be pretty good, if you can't do it, just good. But, I probably ain't wrong, but I do feel like, you know, and they, the stuff that I'm born, it gets and important, like, Pony Bill and Filthy Rich. Um, I do like how they keep calling him Filthy Rich, no, calling him Mr. Rich. But, he did not, he got fond of the first name, let me tell ya. Yeah, I can't be, I can't have a point figure all again, he need to appear again. Especially after I'm Dutch, I think we need more of him. I see one of them appearing in the comic. It's in the comic that can help you from Rock Rockley. Rock, Rock. That's not even a joke, you can look it up. Uh, Pepper make a slight cameo and thing. Oh, that kind of interesting. And he slightly, like, mm, yeah, if you're there. Um, <laughs> hey, that's quite a fan appreciation day. Not the greatest sort of memorable, but I keep, I, yeah, I keep, I could be all forgotten about it, but I could have, I think we're remembering for what's all right, so. Not the best, but I like it. Um, better than last one I had last week, so I give it to be good. So, before I move on, I should probably mention the fact that mm, I'm working on the top five, we'll put out the new four. The yep, episode should be out by the time the next vlog is out next week. And in the meantime, I kind of did a review, joint review for Unvetted and Guilt Tripping to fully explain why they're Maybe. I'll probably link to that in the description, but yeah, they trunk got me to the point where I had to review them, so. <laughs> Ouch, but hey, make up for that with the next copy of the I do. Fun, fun, fun. Go, for, go. Let's pick out next week. Right out of order, 91. Give me episode number 81. Dang. I think he had four, probably. Two. Out of the episode. There you go. No, whoa. He won. That can even be. <laughs> It ain't Inky being Breaky. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, next week I get to I get to have put on my attorney badge and have some fun. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Go, so I shall see you all then as we find out that it definitely now you being Breaky. But, you know. Um, go. So, yeah. That's all I got. Go. So, bye.